everyone, my name is Sarah. I'm the manager of educational programs at the Everhart Museum and I thought maybe you'd like to take a little museum coffee break with me today. So I wanted to talk about Impressionism and some of the Impressionist landscapes that we have at the museum and then also some of my favorite that are also in Pennsylvania. So I wanted to start by showing you this. So this is Mont Saint Victoire. It was painted between 1902 and 1904 by Paul Cezanne, who is a very, very famous French Impressionist painter. Some call him a post-Impressionist. Um, he's actually kind of the bridge between the 19th century Impressionists and then the Cubism of the 20th century. So he's kind of right there in between, which I think is pretty interesting. Um, he was born in Provence. This is of Provence. This is later in his life. And as you can see, it shows kind of this beautiful, idyllic mountain scene and fields um, that he was looking at every day. So one of our favorite local landscape artists is John Willard Rott, who is a local boy born in Scranton, and done more technically. And my favorite piece of his is called Scranton Looking North, which I will put in this post so you could see it, because obviously I'm in my kitchen and not in the gallery space. So John Rott, he studied in Paris, just like Cezanne and many other Impressionist painters, and he came back to Pennsylvania to paint this kind of dichotomous view of Scranton. So what that means is it's kind of like two sides of the same coin. So he painted these beautiful landscapes of what he knew of his hometown of Scranton. So these rolling hills, this beautiful valleys of the Lackawanna River Valley, but then he also was painting um, cityscapes which showed kind of the smoky, heavily industrialized site and a lot of pollution and just kind of a lot of like grim and gritty views of Scranton, which is really interesting because he paints like these beautiful idyllic scenes, but then also this industrial kind of slum. So I love comparing Cezanne to John Willard Rott because I think they're just so similar in that they have this, this beautiful view of color that a lot of artists in the area have not used. So again, we're gonna look at Cezanne, look down below at John Rott, and let me know what you think. Do you like this piece? Do you like Scranton Looking North? It's very large, it's one of my favorite pieces. So I'd love to know, what do you see? What do you like? Can you compare these two? Let me know.